Okay, so this toaster normally fits inside that hole and pulls out to use and pushes in to, to when you store it. And it sits on these rails. These are the rails that it glides on. And on the outside of this rail here, you'll see there's a little square hole. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. See the square hole where my finger's poking through? Mm -hmm. So that square hole leads to this tab, which is flexible on, this, on the side of the module. So if you push in and in, in through that hole, this pushes this tab down, which allows the toaster module to slide past its stop and come all the way out on both sides. So once you've done that, you can pull this module completely out. And then there's a cord that plugs in here to this outlet. And this outlet is connected from, to wires that come up through a hole in the bottom of this. There's a hole and they come in from the wall and then they are attached to the wires that lead to this outlet. And then this whole module, this square, square box is attached into the hole in the wall by these four screws. This one here, one up here, and then same thing on this side. So supposedly if you remove these four screws after you've undone these wires and push these through the hole, then this box should come out of the wall. I'm not going to take those wires off if I can avoid it. There may be enough slack in there to remove it, at least get it out far enough for me to do some wiring on the terminals. If you remember from our view through the boroscope, there is a terminal strip hidden behind this. And if we can loosen those terminal strips, then we have all the slack we need. Oh, there's one more thing. This, pa this little panel right here, this metal panel, which I've reattached with the screw just so I wouldn't lose the screw or the panel. This panel actually, when it's in place, covers this hole, right? And this little tongue right here with the little indent, this little tongue actually goes underneath, underneath this little edge. Makes and, sense. And then the screw holds it in place. And we're doing this all in accordance with the instructions furnished, right? Yep. And this pan, this whole pan right here was covered with crumb. Good thing we took it out. Yep. So let's get started 